Alright, before this video starts, leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Uh, make sure you check out my Twitter, that's where I post updates. I also post, I, I also post updates on my, my YouTube channel, uh, Spearheart. Check the channel, fucking, the channel, uh, the channel discussion tab, that's where I am. And alright, let's get into the video. Narration. Through the Haunted Maze, written by Dragon Emperor 485, Chapter 1, Through the Haunted House. Halloween, the night that you looked forward to every single year. Your high school decided to open a haunted maze for the night. You love scary things, ghosts, witches, the costumes, you love it all. Your girlfriend on the other hand. Fluttershy, are you sure you want to do this? You asked her concerned. You decided to dress up a mummy while Fluttershy dressed up a vampire bat. Fluttershy has a determined look on her face. I can do this! I am going to get over my fear and prove to the girls that I am not a scaredy cat! Baby, you're afraid of everything, including your own shadow. What? No I'm not! Fluttershy looks down behind her and sees her shadow and screams. See? I told you. Let's just go in there and get this over with. Fluttershy looks at the haunted maze and starts to tremble. Um, uh, um, can you hold my hand? Don't worry, I'll protect you from the scary darkness. You sarcastically retort. Nothing scares me. You confidently try to cheer her up. You two enter the haunted maze and walk around, when suddenly, a ghost jumps out from behind a crate. BOO! The ghost shouts out to surprise its victim. Fluttershy screams and hides behind you. Yeah, that's right, you better run- OH! The ghost trips over the crate and falls flat on its face. You walk up to the ghost and take off the sheet covering its body. Derpy? Oh, I messed it up again! Was I a good ghost? The muffin-loving girl asked in an admittedly adorable manner. Yeah, sorry, but no. It was a good effort, though. She really scared me. You give Derby back the white sheet. You and Fluttershy press on deeper into the haunted maze. As you walk further, a helmet-wearing figure with a chainsaw comes from around a corner. The giant figure revs up the chainsaw and walks towards you. Fluttershy curls up into a ball and shrieks while you just stand there. Bulk biceps, I know that's you. What? How did you know it was me? He says while taking off his helmet. Dude, who else in this school has huge biceps, 6'2", and is strong enough to carry that thing? Well, yeah, you're right. I do have huge biceps. Bulk kissed each of his biceps. You help Fluttershy to her feet. It's not very long when you see a shadowy figure walk up to you. All you see is a witch clad in black robes, a black cat to add effect, and a somewhat familiar looking hat. The witch starts to cackle, but then she coughs. Fluttershy screams again. Ugh, what's up, Trixie? Oh, come on! This disguise was perfect! Trixie, you dress up like a witch when it isn't even Halloween. And you still have the same hat you wear all the time. Oh, I'll get you, my pretty, and your boyfriend, too! Trixie lets out an evil laugh before she uses one of her smoke bombs to teleport away. Um, Trixie, we can still see you. Fluttershy remarks at the embarrassed magician. Oh, crap! Trixie runs out of the maze while clinging onto her hat and making sure that her hat doesn't fall off. You keep walking around the maze. Fluttershy is still clenching to your back to hide from the monsters that lurk in the darkness. You walk, th <laughs> you walk through a long line of statues donned with knight's armor on both sides. One of the statues comes to life and Fluttershy screams. Again, for the fourth time tonight. A girl dressed in a princess dress appears from the side. Oh, who goes there? 
Who dares try to harm the princess? The knight has a very striking resemblance to a country bumpkin that you all know too well. Off with their heads, my dear knight! Jump, jump! The princess demands in an over-the-top tone that sounds like a certain fashion-loving girl that is totally having too much fun with this. Uh, Applejack, Rarity, why are you dressed in a knight in shining armor and a princess outfit? Uh, it's our costumes, duh! Applejack corrects you. Of course I would dress up like this, Anon! Uh, whatever. Fluttershy, let's go. Oh, okay. Have fun, lovebirds! Rarity calls out in a sing-song voice. Hey, shut the hell up! You blush while shouting at Rarity. Fluttershy, what did I tell you? This isn't even that scary. Besides, there's nothing in here that can even scare me. Fluttershy points at something. The uh, there's something scary behind me, isn't there? Fluttershy nods her head. You turn around to see a hooded Grim Reaper and a clown standing a few feet away from you. Oh, hell no! You grab Fluttershy's hand and run away from the Grim Reaper and the clown. What? what's wrong, Anon? If there are two things in this world that I am afraid of, it's the Reaper and c c c c c clowns The Clown and Reaper slowly walk towards you while you and Fluttershy cower in fear. The Reaper raises its scythe. I am going to take your soul. And I! I'm going to make you a balloon! I mean, make you into a balloon! The clown corrects itself. You're not taking me today, you motherfuckers! You run up to the two figures and punch them in the face. Oh, what the fuck, Anon? Yeah, that hurt, you know? You recognize those voices. You pull off the hood and clown mask. Rainbow Dash? Pinky Pie? What the hell is wrong with you? You scared the shit out of Fluttershy. Did we scare the shit out of you, too? Dude, that was not cool. Well, I wasn't scared. Uh, huh? You look very confused. Damn it! You punched me really hard! Rainbow Dash touches her swollen cheek. After a night of horrors and punching people in the face, you let Fluttershy in your car to drive her home. So, uh, did you have a good time? Oh, yes I did. You... The fuck? Oh, yes I did. I loved it when you tried to act tough when Dashy and Pinky scared you. I said I wasn't scared! You pull up to her house and kiss her goodnight. Let's go again next year. You nod to agree with her. <laughs> yeah, and next time you can protect me. You say to her in a joke. Fuck! You know what, let's just... <laughs> yeah, next time you can protect me. You say to her in a joking manner. End of fanfic, boys. Whoa, here we go. Another fanfic um, completed right here. Another fanfic done, ready, uh, out here on the on the road. On the road again. I'm going to land this way. I never ran. Oh, uh, fuck. I don't know if I'm going to... No, I'm not going to... Uh, maybe on the next video. Maybe on the next one. All right, you ponies, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and check out the other fanfiction narrations that I have completed, done successfully. <sighs> and I will see you in a few. Bye-bye!